Trading Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. I've been having a, a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. I want to say happy birthday to my father. He'd be 90, I think 98 or 99 today, March 10th. That's a beautiful thing. In fact, you know what's really cool? So check this out. My father's March 10th. One of my best buddies is March 15th. And Tommy is March 20th. You're going to love it, man. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express yourself. Express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Marketwise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 497, NASDAQ up 43, S&P's up 32, gold contract up six bucks, trading at 17.23 an ounce. Silver up four cents, 26 dollars, 19 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a half a buck, 64 dollars, 51 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note up six ticks, 132.16. The 30-year up 10. At 158.03 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 132 ticks, trading 91.824. The euro is at 119. The yen is out here at 108.40. And the British pound is at 139 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? So we get the SPY right now trading up 329. You're at 390. Your high out here is 394.37. Bottom line, folks, we're going for that high. Uh, you know, you get 86 million shares out here today. You did the buck 13 yesterday. This is going to do a buck 20, buck 30. Uh, that high, we're going after it. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. NDX 100, which has the deepest pullback. Bottom line, comes off. Fast, furious, as the NDX loves to do. You're up 62 cents right now. Now, the NDX is going to run into a little flack. Uh, we are at um, up 67 cents at 312. Um, you know, we'll see how this uh, basically handles the flack. And the flack that we're talking about uh, is that uh, approximately from uh, 324. 324, kind of right like, uh, down to 3. 317, yeah, 317, 317 to 324. We'll see how we come into, that, come into that area. Gold, gold contract continues to get a bit out here. We take a look at the gold contract. Let's see. Gold contract right now up $6.20. You've done 209,000 contracts. We take a look at this baby and what you're gonna see now, the, the flack on gold will probably start about 1771. Right now, you're at 1723. So we talk a lot about, about, you know, about where ice is, okay? So that's where ice sets up. So this is going to be important, you know, for all you uh, bulls and bears out there inside the metals market. Uh, we'll see how uh, it shapes up when it gets up to that level, because that level is going to be, 
important as to how it comes into it in order to bust into that area. We go take a look at the silver contract. S I N S I. I don't want the match. I don't know what I'm doing here. Sorry about this, folks. S I one. There we go. There we go. Okay, so silver contract. Silver contract right now trading $26.19. Now, silver continues to be stronger than gold. You know, it didn't have as deep a retracement. You got juice behind the move out here. It looks to me like silver's going to get up to, into this uh, $28.47 pretty quickly. Uh, if we go into the actual equities, we pull up the GDX and we take a look at the GDX. You're going to see you get a sideways move on the GDX out here today, which is cool because what's, what's happening, you can see that it's only 10 million shares. Yesterday, you did that 26 million. That's building cause. Now, the cool thing is I was just talking about the actual contract coming up to ice. If the GDX can get into $33.25, that's going to put the GDX inside its larger range. So that's another one that you're going to want to keep an eye on. We go take a look at the uh, miners inside the silver uh, ETF, the SIL, and what you have inside of the SIL here, uh, same type of setup. The difference is that the SIL never went into its lower uh, never broke the range that it's in, you know, so the, the silver SIL, this is trading 41, 46 is gain. Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at that note and bond because that's what's shaking, rock and roll in that market last week. And we have inside the note and bond market is that you have the 10 year up seven ticks. You've done uh, 1.18 million contracts, good contract volume. You're going to have to get some follow through here, though. That's the real bottom line. But right now, not, not a bad looking setup. We go take a look at the dollar. What, what happens with the dollar is that we do a follow through to the downside today. We'll see if we can get another one. Uh, dollar made it all the way up to ice, which is the uh, 94, 500 mark. Right now we're at 91,826. Uh, we'll go over, let's just take a look at the euro so you can see the correlations inside of the, the currency aspect here. Euro's trying to make to higher price. We take a look at the British pound. The British pound right now is trading at 139.29. And the pound, same type of setup, higher price. The yen, which is crucial that it gets stronger for the gold market. And what we have there with the yen uh, is that it came off its highs. This was a fast move on the yen, man. If you heard uh, Tommy and... Uh, Teddy Cakestack talking about this morning. It was pretty amazing how fast the yen went from a price point of 104 to 109. I mean, Teddy just nailed this thing, and it, it was fast and furious. Bottom line, okay, you're backing down off that 109. Right now, we're at 108.39. Some of the higher volume equities out here that we have is that you have... Uh, AMC is down 58 cents. The Reddit stocks are moving. We'll go through a couple of those, man. You talk about uh, just the... the <laughs> anyway, we, uh, we'll, we'll go through them. Just in the aspect... Yeah, I, I'm going to go through GameStop quick because GameStop, uh, this thing today, folks, was just phenomenal. Um, starts out the day uh, and it opened at 269 goes up to 345 and then crashes to 172 in all of about 14 minutes. Trading 250 right now. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. 
Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 524. You get the NASDAQ up 32. S&Ps are up 33. If we go inside the Dow Industrials, you see the juice that's uh, putting it inside the Dow Industrials. Boeing is the leader out here. Uh, Boeing's put 97 positive points. You get uh, Goldman at 73, Honeywell 36, Big Mac 30. Taken away from it, you get United Health uh, minus six, Microsoft four, Apple uh, three. No, uh, uh, no big number there, no doubt about it. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX 100. You got Walgreens Boots up four percent. Lululemon is up uh, four percent. Uh, you get Charter Communications up two point nine. Taken away from it, Baidu. Baidu's down four percent. You get. Micron Tech off four, Lamb is off three. Okay, so let's get into these chip stocks. So, so the chip stocks, folks, okay, bottom line, we talk about this many times. Chip stocks take you up, take you down, take you all around. Let's see, uh, LRCX, actually. I want to go to, let, oh, let's see if it's set up the same way. But yeah, interesting, man. These, these aren't that bad. Okay, so we start off, let, let's start off here with Micron Tech. We take a look at Micron Tech. Next time they come out with numbers is the 31st. It's down $3.50 right now. This baby, so it came down on volume. This, yeah, the same thing. I mean, this is gonna this is gonna go test the lows of last week. Nothing heavy though. We're at 85, uh, 32. Um, now, this is pretty cool how this is shaking out today, folks. When you're let's say that you wanted to buy a chip stock, you know, they've been on a run beyond belief, okay? And the chips we know are the ones that basically start leading the NDX 100 on the way down. Then, of course, you know, the, the big fangs, they, they took it south. That being said, you can see that you're going lower today. You have volume of 19, 19 million. Well, you're going to need volume of like over 30 million to bust this low. So, you know, if I was looking to buy this, which I'm not, okay, 
the bottom line is that this is a nice little setup. You'd still let it go all the way down to the bottom, test it. You get a test and rejection. Guess what? That would be saying that you want higher prices coming at you again. Now, you don't necessarily have to want to be in the chip stocks to understand that. Where I'm going with this is that if you get to understand one of the sectors that have been the weakest, and if that basically is leveling out and also wants to go higher, well, guess what? You can go right back to the queues. That's how, that's how this thing shakes out. Platinum. Let's go take a look at the platinum market. We got a couple tigers that want to be look at the platinum market. Right now, we have platinum up $32. You are trading at $12.08. The last high out here is uh, $13.48, and that's game once again. That's the real bottom line. That's where this baby's going. Now, let me show you a couple of the housing stocks, because this gets really cool, man. This is pretty intense. I mean, we're, we're in, so, so picture it. My take is that we're in a supply side, there's no supply in the housing market. You have a huge demand. That being said, folks, we know that cycles inside of the housing market are huge. When the cycle stops, guess what? The music stops playing and it's over. The music in this particular case has to do, I would say, you know, with interest rates, always interest rates, interest rates, interest rates. So keeping your eye on these home builders is important to understand for all of us right across the country, where is housing going? Well, let me tell you something, man. It's not over. <laughs> You're going to see something. The housing equities, folks, are an ABC structure on the way up. If we take a look at Toll Brothers right here today, $2.89. You're at $57.84. you are at 57 84 this just blew away the, the B point. It's going to have the volume. And wait till you see the size of this ABC structure, folks. Your A point on this is uh, 43. Your B point out here is 56. So you get 13 bucks. That's going to set up a, basically a 63. And we're at 57. D.H. Horton has a larger one. D.H.I. I'm going to see this one. D. D.H.I. This is the one that I was thinking about when I said a very large one. I think this is like a, oh my God, it's a 30 or 40 point A to B. I can't find it. One second. So the A point on this is 64. Well, this is a 20 point A to B, but this isn't it here. One second. I, mean, I was doing this this morning. Let me just find the one. Okay, so D.H. Horton. What one did I pull up, man? Uh, maybe Lenar. Let me pull up Lenar. The bottom line is that the housing market's in great shape, folks. You wouldn't be doing ABC structures on the way up without it. Lenar is up 375. That's going 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 after uh, 9250. Uh, bottom line, you get the gist of it. The gist of it right there is uh, saying that guess what? The bottom line is that. Um, housing is not done. When you get ABC structures on the way up, and I can show you going all the way back to uh, the housing crisis in 2007, 2008, uh, that the, the charts had basically shown about seven months before this thing holds, uh, start turning on the, on the way down in a big way. The XAU, the HUI, we go inside the gold market. What you're going to see inside the XAU, the HUI, XAU is up a dollar twenty-four today, one thirty-five ninety-nine. We go take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. What you have with the Gold Bugs Index out here? Same thing, up a buck sixty-five. You're trading at two sixty-seven. And let's see, a couple of our tigers have uh, uh, this equity, and uh, it's it's a beautiful thing, no doubt. This is um, Avco uh, Pharmaceuticals. The low for the year is two dollars and twenty-three cents. The highs 14. Uh, they just so they just got approval of an FDA medication, and this was a rocket ship, no doubt. Okay, the bottom line we went all the way up to $14.50 out here today. Uh, if we pull this back, put this on. Oh man, you're gonna love these high volume highs, folks. You put this on a you know, a longer basis, you're going to see that you get a high volume high laying out there at 1850. Um, 1850 is game, man. You know, when you, so what happens with high volume highs or high volume lows, folks, okay, is that when, when they stick out, 
um, you want to pay attention to them. When they, in this particular case, what we're looking at is this, okay? The high volume high that I'm talking about, you, you go all the way back to uh, the week of April 5th of 2019. Well, what happens is this. That is, two different things happen. Number one, a high volume high, once, it, once the equity starts moving, it wants to hit. Number two, when you got a consolidation like this, okay, you know, you can strategize before the fact because if, in fact, this ever broke that $18, what you're talking about then is that you're talking about an additional 15 bucks on top of the $18 because you just take the top of the consolidation to the bottom of the consolidation, and that's where they like to go, man. The bottom line, higher prices coming at you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The US deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow up uh, 503. NASDAQ is up 15. S&Ps are up uh, 29. Let's get over and take it. This is a great question, and uh, so cool this question come in because... I'll do a little work on this tonight. So Newmont, folks. Newmont's up $1.23. You're trading $58.48, right? Uh, that's not the deal, though. What the deal is, is that Newmont just turned around, and they're going to basically buy uh, GT Gold Corporation for uh, $313 million. Now, this is an exploration company. And so what the real question is, is that 
you know, what is the value of exploration companies, okay? So this is pretty cool because what does happen is this. Go, Newmont's, Newmont's got to pay um, $2.57 U.S. for it, or uh, $3.25 Canadian. Um, that's a 59% premium, which is not bad, okay? Bottom line is that uh, if you want to do some hunting on this right now, what you want to know is this, th and this is where these analysts are going to be doing hunting in a big way. How many ounces of gold and licenses did or does GT Gold already have? That gives you a better idea of what an exploration company is going to be going for right now. You know, so there's no, I can't, I can't do this fast on the air. Um, but that is something that is not that hard to do um, because of the, what's going to end up happening is that if you go over to the GT Gold, it's going to give you the aspect of how many licenses they already have, where they are, and the aspect of bringing gold out of the ground. Bottom line, you know, we'll see uh, how many more of these are going to get done. Because what is going to happen, there's no doubt, um, is that large companies, folks, need exploration companies that actually have gold that's going to be coming out of the ground pretty soon. Uh, most of the larger companies don't just go in and buy an exploration company that has just started. What they're, what they're looking for, they're looking for exploration companies that are very close to having the licenses in place so that as soon as they buy it, they can put the amount of money that's needed inside of the company in order to basically start getting the ore out of the marketplace. You gotta remember something that inside the mining business, uh, the amount of money that it takes to get a mine up and going is in the billions. And the financing of it is not hard, uh, but the bottom line is that you gotta make sure you're pretty close to um, getting that gold out of the ground. That's, that's the real bottom line. We're going to take a look at uh, Royal Gold out here. Royal Gold right now is trading at uh, up 123. This is one of the streamers. That's uh, $1.23. That's trading at 107 right now. Uh, if we get one more day of follow through inside Royal, we might have some action here. Franco Nevada. We take a look at another stream of Franco Nevada. The stream is really important uh, because of the context of when the stream is going to higher price, your probability is dramatically higher that the price of gold's going higher. Now, Franco Nevada is really in sweet shape. Franco Nevada rejected lower price at 110. You're at 113. And let me show you something else here though. Watch this. You get a monster expansion and that's telling me that we have funds that are coming into Franco Nevada. Let's take a look. Well, nothing big, man. So, whoever this fund is is actually pretty smart, man. What I mean by that is this. A lot of the funds, folks, okay, this is what they do. And you can pick up their footprint. They don't bother <laughs> to basically hide as they come into, as they come into equities. Um, they'll come in fast and furious. That's not the case here. There's like, there's like a lot of thousand... Trades is one, you know, it's six, 6,000, nothing heavy. Um, you got a huge expansion of volume, though. There's, there's no two ways about that. Um, this is saying it wants higher price. And what you do have is that we get follow through for a couple of days. You're going to, where this baby's right at the cusp of uh, breaking um, a downtrend that has been in place for quite some time. Because you got to remember something inside of the gold market, it was the stream is right off the bat that were pulling back that was saying lower prices are coming at you and guess what they were right that's that's the real bottom line some of the high flyers inside the nasdaq we take a look at amazon amazon out here sideways move you're down 10 bucks actually uh microsoft way microsoft is trading right now um that's down a buck 30. we go take a look at google google out here sideways move. Tesla looks to me like uh, it's still in tough shape. Uh, the way Tesla's traded out here, I don't think Tesla's down on the way down. You know, right now, Tesla's off its high of uh, 900 and nine. That's pretty wild. $900 flat. Yeah, $900 flat. So $900 flat.
gets all the way down to uh, 583. Today, what ends up happening, couldn't hold price, gets up to 717. You're trading at 666. Um, Tesla's game, you know, to get all the way back to this 433. So this is going to be intriguing watching uh, how that is going to straighten out. Home Depot. We take a look at Home Depot. We stay inside this uh, housing market out here. What you're going to see Home Depot, up, it's up $4. That's trading right now at $267.42. Uh, this one's going to get intriguing because now you're, you're coming right into the gap. Uh, the, the top of that gap is uh, the 269 area. You're going to need some real juice to get through that gap. Uh, that being said, most times what you end up seeing, folks, is that you end up seeing building cars. You'll build cars, you go sideways for a bit. Uh, then once again, what does it try to do? It tries to get topside, you know, has some volume behind the move. Well, if you get volume behind the move, then you will actually... Uh, have have some real action. Uh, GE, GE. We're watching GE piece by piece to getting taken apart, and you know they're going to try to. But no doubt, uh, they have tried to stay alive. Uh, GE out here today is trading thirteen dollars twenty four cents, and I believe they they did what they okay. So GE agreed to sell its jet leasing business to rival uh, Aircap, bringing together the world's. Two biggest aircraft finances in a deal that's poised to reshape the, the business. The bottom line, under the deal, valued at $30 billion, GE will receive $24 billion in cash, plus 115.5 million shares, equivalent to 46% equity in the combined equity. Uh, the bottom line is that uh, GE is trying to, and has been trying to bring down debt uh, in an incredible way. Uh, we still take a look, if you take a look at this chart, the bottom line, I wouldn't be touching GE. GE still has some major problems. Um, there is no doubt that the name is still great, okay? That being said, though, guess what? Um, uh, there's not much there. Uh, that's, that's the real bottom line. Uh, IBM, let's take a look at IBM, that old dog. Uh, IBM out here, that's up uh, a dollar. Uh, 3, 373, that's f closing up a gap. We take a look, we put IBM up there, and what you're going to see is, you know, we'll see if IBM can break it, its downtrend. IBM has been on a downtrend, oh, let's see, for how long? Oh, this is going to be cool to watch. This is, uh, yeah, I got this from 2013. If you want to see something that's amazing, this is going to be cool, this one here. Just this, this chart here, folks, you want to, you're going to want to keep your eye on this thing. Why? Because this IBM hasn't been able to break this downtrend since 2013. And it's coming right up to the trend line right now. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 494. Nasdaq's up 31. S&Ps are up 30. And uh, the stimulus bill just did get signed, folks. Uh, the bottom line is that uh, you and me and all the tigers and tigresses, we should be looking for equities now that are going to basically get a small pop. I'm not talking about a you know, long-term deal here, uh, but one of the tigers just gave me that, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, update uh, on this, like, where are people going to spend the stimulus checks? There's no doubt about it, man. Walmart. So Walmart had quite a retracement on the way down. It's up $3.66 out here today. You're trading at 132. Uh, now, what gets intriguing here, uh, the bottom line is that all Walmart actually did Walmart came back to its breakout area. Uh, last week we did three, 185 million shares. You're going into 202 million shares as well as 230. So bottom line, um, that regardless whether the stimulus check or not, that would have been a buy. So Walmart, I suspect, is a, is a great candidate uh, that is going to be collecting monster money, folks. And those stimulus checks... It uh, looks like they're going to start going out four or five days from now. We take a look at uh, Great Panther Silver for a couple of the Tigers out here. The low for the year is $22. Yeah, $22. Ooh, I wish it was $22. 22 cents. The high is $1.16. This is a silver miner, folks. This uh, does business uh, in Mexico, taking $375 million a year, and they do make money. They, they make $0.19. Cents. We take a look at this, and what you're going to see, we're going to need some buying and you need wide price spread. You just don't have it yet. There's just no buyers just yet. That being said, my take is that this does want to go up to uh, the dollar sixteen, and right now you're at eighty-two. Vista Gold. We take a look at Vista Gold, uh, also an exploration stock. Uh, this is trading at uh, ninety-seven cents. The low for the year out here is thirty-six cents. The high is forty-five. Uh, this also needs some more buying. Um, you know, it, it never broke its low. That's the cool thing with Vista Gold. It never broke its low. Uh, this t is telling me that, yeah, it wants to go back to 129, 130, 145. That's how this baby uh, is set up at this particular point. We go take a look at uh, Verizon, VZ. Uh, a couple of the phone companies, they start moving out, out here today, too. You get Verizon up 92 cents. That's trading at $57.12. And these phone companies, they push out a monster um, dividend folks at this price it's a 4.39 percent dividend if we do take this and we put this on a longer basis you're going to see it's been consolidating here for quite some time it already went down to the lower end of its consolidation rejected lower price that's saying now verizon is going to be going after the 63 dollar uh level which is up at its highs once again and we'll see whether we can get any volume any juice as it gets up to that level. Let's go take a look at a few of the banks. Uh, actually, let's go to Goldman first, because Goldman is putting some big juice today inside of the Dow Industrials. And in Goldman's case, oh, this is going to be wild. 
Okay, we're going to watch this closely because Goldman is going to need some heavy volume into the close, but this very well could be an ABC structure up. We have, uh, yeah, it's not going to do another million. We're at 341. Doesn't look like it's going to do another million. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. Okay, that doesn't give me anything, meaning no clarity as to where it is. Okay, so now I do a monthly. I see. So a monthly, it's already broke a consolidation. So a monthly is saying 275, 135 bucks gets you 375. I see, 400, okay. So the way Goldman set up anyway, once it broke that consolidation, it set up for a 400 price print. And right now you are at uh, 341. BAC, let's go take a look at Bank of America. Bank of America out here, set up just like JP Morgan. Um, they're gonna need a little bit more volume up there. Now that's, this also broke its consolidation. You're at 37.31. And what you'd want to see, uh, 35, 35, 35 to 36 was the breakout area there. So what you're looking for is that you're, you're looking for that to push away from that breakout area uh, as fast as you can. Uh, the, fast, the more that you push away from the breakout area, the higher the probability is that you are going to get into much higher price. Let's go to the copper market and take a look at copper. Copper's trading 403 right now, HG. Okay, the all-time high is 463. Copper, yeah, not bad. Okay, so you're building cars. Copper, last week was an animal, man. Copper uh, in one day went from 415 down to, what, 384, went right back the other side. Now you're building cars for higher price once again. Take a look at a few of the copper stocks, SCCO first. Yep, moving higher again with volume, and that wants all-time highs. Right now, uh, Southern Cop is up 249. They're trading 75.46. Freeport Mac Moran, which has also been on a tier FCX. Needs a, now, Freeport hasn't broken that downtrend from the top yet. Strong stock, just hasn't broken it. Uh, it needs about another point, point and a half. Right now, uh, that is up 67 cents, and... If you, you needed about a buck, a buck and a half in order to basically uh, break that downtrend. Now, I expect we're going to see that because when you do take a look and we put this copper chart up on a much longer basis, you're going to see that the all-time highs are just laying out there. Put this on a monthly basis. I got it on a 20-year monthly right now when this thing uh, pops up. And you're going to see your building cars. Now, this is pretty cool because when you're, when you're building cars right before the highs, the probability gets pretty good that that little baby, you can basically take those highs out. We'll, we'll see uh, if, in fact, that's going to be the case because you have three separate highs out here. And each time we had given it up. The first high that was established, I'm going all the way back now to 2005. That high was $4.16. $4 then you had a retracement, and the second high that was up here was 2006, and that was 437. And then you came down hard and fast. You came all the way down to 175. The one we're talking about is the 464. That was established in 2011, and then you came down hard and fast also to 193. So uh, how we approach that high out there is going to be crucial, and that's going to tell us quite a bit about uh, the rest of the commodity market. We go take a look at the the South African miners, we put, take a look at Harmony. Harmony Gold out here, sideways move, you're up $4.56. Gold Fields. Interesting. So Gold Fields not holding price. Gold Fields down 33 cents. Not the end of the world. Pull them back slightly. Gold Fields still looks to me like you get uh, 1030, uh, 1040 on the agenda. Uh, that, that's kind of uh, how, how it's looking right now. Uh, when we take a look at the uh, aspect of uh, the openings, uh, New York City's got to be really happy. Uh, the bottom line is that uh, they just uh, 
said the okay to 50% inside restaurants in New York and in New Jersey. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 500, NASDAQ up 22, S&Ps up 30, we'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up uh, 492. The Nasdaq is up uh, 12. S&Ps are up uh, 27. Uh, if we go uh, take a look at the Qs, folks, okay? It, you know, the bottom line, Qs are the only ones going to be in, in a little red. That being said... Um, this little formation here, folks, I've seen this like so many times when you're coming into some heavy resistance. First, you get up to, we got up to 316, gave it up, we're at 311. That being said, guess what? What you want to keep your eye on now is this. You keep your eye on the downdraft that had been created last week, the high of that downdraft. Uh, one high is 312.04. The second high is 309. Those two areas right there are going to be hard to crash into when you have the Dow Industrials. That just broke topside. Um, it, what's going to be intriguing here is to see if the Dow is a false break, meaning my take is that we're, that the S&P and the, the NASDAQ uh, is in the consolidation. My take was that the Dow is in the consolidation too, but guess what? You broke to all-time highs. Now, the cool thing is, is that if you ever got any follow-through on the Dow tomorrow, 
That would be saying, guess what? That would be saying that you are not in a consolidation. It'll take a little bit more time for the NASDAQ to get through the resistance that it's going to be coming into. But that would be saying that in the next few days, you are going to see the S&Ps go to all-time highs. If the S&Ps take that high out, folks, and it has volume behind it, you are going to see a huge expansion of volume as that high gets taken out, particularly because of the as aspect of we had the high, you came down fast, bottom line, there's still plenty of people that are on that side of the market. It's going to make a difference as we're coming back topside. And as I said a little bit, or, well, last, last couple of days, um, this market is either a consolidation or wants higher price. You, you throw in th 1.9 trillion into the marketplace, guess what, folks? We know right where it's going. A lot of it's going right here. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need is right inside you. Grab it and have a blast with it. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Tell them to go to YouTube, search TFNN, and subscribe.